Hi class, so this video picks up where the last one was and uh, I wanted to go back and solve this one here so you can just see how to plug in the numbers. So again, we're working the problem that says a university claims that students can expect to spend a mean of three hours per week on homework for every credit hour of class. So the administration believes that the number is no longer correct. Okay, so we saw in, in, in step two here that this was a two-tailed test. Okay, so right there, I know that's gonna involve this p-value here and um, this is our critical value, but this test statistic here is still the test statistic for the problem. Okay, so it goes on to say, please write the test statistic. So test statistic here, we're going to put in two point, again, it's four, five, one, nine. And what is the p-value? Well, again, we said this was a two-tailed test, right? So it's going to be this p-value here. So it's going to be 0 0.01478 here. Okay, so you have to decide if you're gonna reject or fail to reject the null. Well, you look at the p-value. If the p-value is less than the level of significance, okay, you're going to reject the null hypothesis. So we see that the p-value is less than the level of significance. The null hypothesis is rejected. And what happens here? Sufficient evidence does exist that the mean homework time per credit hour is different from three hours per week. And let's check to see how we did. And we got it. So I hoped having seen me do this, you know, pointing out where the test statistic is and the p-value and how you reject here uh, was helpful. 